Shalom, Yeshua, first and foremost, I want to give all our praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Recha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessing to the Ophleakim, that's preach the word in all truth and sincerity, alone should Israelite foreigner brothers that are like the heathens, but the line of the side goes back to the nation of Israel, which nation of Israel are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother Yekar Amah, the lesson, and um, today's lesson will be entitled, But Exhort One Another Daily. You know, I was going to go on some precepts, and uh, Lord willing, you brothers and your sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, I'm not going to go on the spirit and the form this lesson. But um, I'm going to start with book of Hebrews, chapter 3, and verse 13. And it reads, But exhort one another daily while it is called today. That's right. Now, when you look at that word, exhort, it's from the Greek word. Strong's G, 3870. Parakaleo. Parakaleo. Power kalea, which means to call to one side, call for, summon, to address, speak to, call to, call upon, which may be done in the way of exhortation, entreaty, comfort, instruction, etc. And when you go down, means uh, also means to encourage, strengthen, to instruct, teach. Right, so the way that we exhort one another daily is in the form of you know, teach making our daily videos on the scriptures, you know, when we post them on YouTube, you see, because our videos that we do now are like the modern day epistles or letters to comfort us, you know, starting with our apostles, Elder Great Millstone, because it's the word that comfort us, man, that strengthen us and encourage, encourage us to continue in the faith, you know. Because, you know, we all catch hell for the name of Yah for the name of Yahweh Shai. You know, because real quick, when you go to Philippians chapter one and verse uh, twenty nine, it reads, "For unto you it is given in the behalf of Yahweh Shai, not only to believe on Him." but also to suffer for his sake. Yeah, so, you know, we're not supposed to only believe on our Lord Yahweh Shai, but we also got to suffer for his name's sake, man. You know, because we have to suffer the straight gate, you know, uh, position of difficulty, because being in this truth is not easy. You know, but the Lord has given given us the guidelines on, on what to do in regards of pleasing the head and father Yahweh, you know, which is praying to him, exalt, uh, exalting the names of Yahweh by Shimon Shai, going out on the highways and byways week in, week out, which is our reasonable service, making our bodies live living sacrifice when we do go out and teach, you know, and uh, pushing this gospel, feeding the sheep, man, every day, you see? So let's go back to um, Hebrews 3 and 13. Hebrews 3 and 13, and it reads, but exhort one another daily, while it is called today, and it's said daily, you know, so we have, we have to be diligent in its truth, consistent. It says, uh, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Right, so let's look at that word hardened. Hardened is, uh, is from the Greek word. Strong's G, 4645, scleruno. Scleruno. Yep, uh... It means uh, to be stubborn, to be hardened, you know, so we can't be stubborn, you know, in sin, deceitfulness of sin, you know. <clears throat> so, you know, we can't be stubborn in regards of not, you know, doing what the Lord said. We have to be obedient, you know, because we don't want our minds to be polluted through the deceitfulness of sin. So. We be obedient until you how about Shimon Shai by teaching the truth, you know, because it's commanded us to. Um, 
So, because, you know, Yahweh Shah, he says he set the standard of how we're supposed to be in the faith. You know, because we go to um, Luke 19, it talks about our Lord um, teaching daily in the temples. Uh, Luke 19 and verse 47. And it reads, and he taught daily in the temple, but the chief priests and the scribes and the chief of the people sought to destroy him. You know, and this is talking about our Lord Yahweh and could not find what they might do. For all the people were very attentive to hear him. Right. So our Lord Yahweh he taught daily in the temple. So he was diligent with his teachings, with the doctrine, man. You know, he practiced what he preached, you know, because he told the disciples to go out on the highways and byways. You know, and, and, and uh, teach the Israelites, you know, so the same goes for us, too. The same went for him, too, you know, because when you go to Matthew 10, Matthew 10 and verse uh, 5 through 6, it reads, These twelve Yahweh shall send forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, which are the heathens. And into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right. So, the same way as our Lord Yahweh Shai said the twelve first, had told disciples to go teach the word. He was doing. He was doing it as well, man. You know, he wasn't a hypocrite. You know, so that's the same standard that still applies today. You know, we still have to go out on the highways and byways and teach, you know, uh, teach the nation of Israel this world, man, this word. You see? So, in the scripture, talking about that he was an example. Let's see, uh, 1 Peter 2 and 21. It reads, for even here unto. For even here unto where you called, yeah, we all we all have been called in the faith. Lord and we chosen. Because Yahweh Shah Mashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. Yeah, so Yahweh Shah left an example of how we should be. The standard on how we're supposed to live, being an Israelite man, to please the heaven for Yahweh, man. You know? Although Yahweh Shah he had integrity, he had morals, he didn't bow down the uh the Satan. You know, we mean Matt we read Matthew the fourth chapter. You know, he was uh he was all about his father's business, man. You know, he came to do the will of the heavenly father Yahweh that sent him. You see? So he was very obedient unto death, man. And that's the same way we gotta be. You know? Cause whatever goes on in our life, you know, the, the Lord comes first. You know, because at the end of the day, it's the Lord that put us in these harsh conditions in the first place. So it's nothing for the Lord to get us out of them, man. Rather, he could put spirits on individuals to help you out, you know, because the Lord is the father of spirits, man. So nothing is hard. Nothing is impossible with the head and father of your heart, man. He just want us to put him first. Because the Lord is a jealous God, man. So if, if the Lord sees you putting the other things first before him, you know, then the Lord can get jealous of that, man. The Lord, not could, but the Lord is jealous of that. But this is uh, Matthew 6 and verse 33. And it reads, but seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness. Yeah, so, you know, we, we, we seek first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, man. You know? By pushing the gospel, being diligent, you know, communing with the brotherhood, uh, praying and fasting, fat when the spirit hops on us to fast, you know, praying to Yahweh Bashim Osai, exalt his name. You know, it says, and all these things shall be added unto you. Yeah, so whatever we're lacking throughout our daily life, the Lord's going to add it unto us, man. You know, and ultimately the Lord can sometimes just test us and see. Whether we're going to break or fold, man. Break and fold. You know, because the Lord is always testing us, man. Because ultimately, the Lord is preparing us for the big test. The, when a, the MOTB, the Karagma, be made mandated throughout the whole world. That's going to be the ultimate big test. You know, 
So the Lord just having us go through these little, all these simulations tests just to build us up for the big test, you see? So we may lose a job or, you know, we may be back on our rent and we don't know what to do and our hands is tied. You know, we we may have ailments or uh, injuries or, you know, sicknesses, things of that sort, man. You know, we may be in a financial debt uh, crisis, you know. But at the end of the day, we got to push this war first, man. You know, um, uh, verse 32, it says, For after all these things do the Gentiles seek the heathens, for your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. Yes, yeah, so at the end of the day, the Lord, the heavenly Father, Yahweh, need, knows we need all these things. The Lord knows what we're going through, man. You know? But, you know, we got to, all we have to do is do our part. The Lord's going to do his part all the time. But we got to make sure we be on point with our part in regards of teaching the gospel, man. See? So, um, you know, it was just a quick lesson I can, you know, like I said, you know, I didn't form the lesson. I just went in the spirit. And uh, those were the priests that I had. But, you know, that's what we got to do. I can we gotta keep your team and be diligent. And uh, just end off on that last precept, man. Second Peter 1 and 10. It reads, Well, for the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. Right? So that's what we got to do. That's the standard we got to live by. You know, we got to be diligent in this truth, man. You know, because if we do, we're going to never fall. We're never going to fall because the Lord delights in the Israelite individual that's diligent and fervent in the spirit serving him. Because we can't be slothful in business, man. Romans 12 11. Um, it says, Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord, Yahweh by Shimon Shai. Right? So, we can't be slothful in this truth, man. We can't be lazy. You know, we got to be fervent in the spirit and serving Yahweh by Shimon Shai. So, Yakum, yeah, Lord willing, I can set a fire. And until uh, next time, Shalom.